Congresswoman Tlaib shared this video last week uh, accusing Joe Biden, the President of the United States, leader of your party, of supporting genocide. Uh, what do you think of that, and what consequences should she face uh, for that kind of accusation? Strenuously disagree with, with the statement, the video. Um, could not disagree more uh, with the term. Uh, I think uh, it's offensive, uh, and, and I think um, she understands that from her conversations uh, with her colleagues. Um, we are focused on providing, as Representative Cheryl mentioned, providing aid to Israel, uh, defeating Hamas, uh, providing resources, humanitarian resources, uh, and ensuring that the hostages are free. That is the focus of the Biden administration. That is the focus of House Democrats. Uh, that is where we want to devote our, our energy, our ideas, uh, and that's where we know a legislative path uh, should be helpful. So we want to talk about the substance of the policy, uh, of meeting those objectives, freeing hostages, defeating Hamas, and providing humanitarian relief to the Palestinian people. Uh, that is the most important thing that we need to be talking about right now. Uh, everything else is a distraction and a, and a diversion, but all members using their voice and their platform should stand up against bigotry, against uh, Islamophobia, but also against anti-Semitism, as, as the Vice Chair mentioned. That is our obligation as, as members of Congress, uh, and I hope that everybody um, lives up to that. But I, I don't understand, because you said that you said, you said that the Congresswoman understands that it was offensive. The video is still up. How do you know that, that she understands that? And, and I, I, know she's had conversations. I, I know members have indicated um, uh, to her that it's offensive. Uh, that's that's what I said. Mr. Franklin, 